Eh? 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 You're a friggin' idiot, rookie. You always got yourself taken away by goblins. Now don't look at me. Chin up, deep breath. We still have a hobgoblin to take care of. Remember that one? Follow its trail. It'll lead us straight to her. On the double, I'll explain them on the way. Look alive, rookie. You gotta break this time. As we know, hobgoblins are the same as goblins in every single thing. Their family type, the type of monster... Uh, let's see, what else? The habitat, you know that one. Mind and food, yeah, you got it. We got no time to spare, let's get straight into the information. The goblin is a mutation of the goblin, with extreme swelling in one area of its body. Specifically, it's distinguished by its large bosom, a trait that's usually not found in goblins. Although, like goblins, hobgoblins are simple in personality, though they also tend to be dreamy, with a demeanor that is decidedly calmer than that of goblins. Hobgoblins are the rare offspring of goblins who delight in their birth and venerate them. When goblins form bands to attack men, they will always defer to a hobgoblin as their leader, and when they succeed in capturing a man, they cede the right of first copulation to her out of respect. However, perhaps because of their engorged bosom, draws so deeply from any nourishment they consumed, they are simpler and less clever than common goblins. Also, the size of their ample breasts may also be the cause of their clumsiness. When such bands chase men, it is common to see the hobgoblin left behind, tripping and falling over herself. Despite their tendency to fumble, their brute strength is more than fantastic than a goblin's and they can usually swing around a huge weapon. And when they do succeed in catching a human man, they use the strength to push him hard against the ground and wring him of his essence. It is highly unlikely that a man would have the physical strength to free himself from a goblin's embrace. In the process of copulation, the hobgoblin's large bosom weighs on the man, pressing and shifting against his body to give both of them pleasure, as her breasts are incredibly sensitive. Even his breath upon her skin is enough to make her arch in bliss. Thus, when a man touches her breast, her body is assailed by ecstasy like a humming electric skirt. If he seizes and kneads her breast, she will be so overcome by the sensation that she will be experienced multiple climaxes from that alone. She will lose all awareness and surrender her everything to the man. If at this time the man withdraws his hands, she will panic at the abrupt absence of pleasure, much as if addicted, and will desperately rub her chest against the man, tears in her eyes as she begs him to continue. Thus, even in coitus, the hobgoblin can be easily manipulated by a man. There is no reason to be complacent, as the other goblins will surely have been watching with arousal, and will be quite ready to attack the nurse dead. By this point, the reader may have observed that the hobgoblin is in fact inferior to the common goblin in just about every regard except strength. And you, rookie, are the reader. Alright? Why then, one might ask, do goblins so revere hobgoblins? The goblins themselves provide a rather incredible soliloquism to explain this. 1. Hobgoblins have large breasts. 2. Large breasts are amazing. 3. Therefore, hobgoblins are amazing. Can't... You just can't... Can't fight back. This fearsome logic must be said to be true to the nature of these simple creatures. But when one thinks about it more carefully, it is true that giving their boy into copulation with human men plays among monsters such as goblins, large breasts may be quite an effective tool in mating. Perhaps this advantage is sufficient to compensate for all of the hobgoblins' shortcomings. Got it, rookie? Use it to your advantage. Keep that information on hand, rookie. This is gonna be a tough fight. You will be outmatched via strength, but your greatest strength is that brain of yours and those hands. And don't let your eyes gravitate towards your chesticles. Its squishiness will lure you in, and soon you'll be trapped, unable to do anything. But don't fret, because you want that to happen. As I said, she'll arch in bliss when you touch her breast. Now get to it, rookie. I'll cover the pathway so none of the goblins will return to help their leader. You have a few seconds. Go. To the other rookies out there watching this, consider subscribing and liking the video. It helps grow the ranks and gets new rookies to train. I'll see you in the next training session. Goodbye for now.